Well hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on YouTube As you, as you saw by the sign I'm here at the Falkirk Wheel here in Scotland It's the on, it's the world's only rotating lift So let, let me say that again It's the world's only rotating boat lift That's the one um, I'm going to show you what it's like Show you what it is Tell you about it uh, I'm even going to take you on a, on a boat and take you to the top of the lift and back down again. Um, you, do, you do need to pre-book this online. It's nine pound ninety-five um, for thirty-five minutes, or you can book the full experience, which is an hour long, and that is just over ten pounds. So I'm going to I'm going to see where you get your tickets. And I'll show you when I get closer to it. So here it is then, the Falcon Falcon Grill itself. The boat goes into that bit there at the bottom. The thing the, the wheel rotates and goes goes to the top and then goes along the canal. There's a boat here. It sounds like it's uh, broken down or something, I don't know. Yeah, this is the wheel itself. I'm going to try and find where you get your tickets and I'll update you when I can. Rotation! 11.20 rotation tickets only please. My name's Eddie, I'm your skipper, I'm working with Jim. Uh, Jim will organise the queue that you sanitise your hands before going on. I will seat you. You will have to have your face mask on at all times or your exemption certificate showed. No food or drink to be consumed and please remain like in a restaurant in your designated seat because if you move, you've busted somebody else's bubble. Thank you very much. Right guys, I've got my ticket here. Watch it here. Just about to board this boat. I'm gonna go through the bottom half of the wheel. And it's going to rotate up to the top. I'll see you when I get on guys. Right guys, we're right now on the boat. Just about, just about to go to the just about to go into the wheel. Which will take us to the top. Here we go. As I said earlier, this is a 35, 35 minute experience. You can pay more to do the full 60 minutes. It's going to feel very weird when it's like when it starts lifting. There we go. Get into position now. Any minute the wheel the wheel will start turning.
it's a shame it's a shame we couldn't get it's a shame we couldn't get to the front really. That would have been a better view. Okay, well good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sunny Falkirk. Welcome on the Falkirk Wheel. In fact, welcome in the Falkirk Wheel, where most people are not allowed. The only way you can come in here is on a boat. So unless you buy one, it'll cost you a lot of money, even though it costs you three to be in the boat. This is the next best thing. What you're doing is worth it because you cannot do this anywhere else in the world. We are the only one in the world. So the only place you can be transported in this unique fashion is here on the Falcon Field. So welcome all. My name is Eddie, I'm your skipper. In helping me run the boat, crewing for me is Jim. Jim, uh, you've seen earlier. If you look at Jim now, you'll be looking at life jacket number two. Can you guess where one is? And can you guess if there's any more? Listen folks, you don't need one because if the boat went to sink, all you have to do is remain seated and lift your feet. <laughs> the water is this high outside, but the way the boat is built is this high underneath your feet. So, really, what that means is, we are an unsinkable boat. <laughs> so not only are you travelling in the world's one and only rotating boat lift, but you're in the world's one and only unsinkable boat. <laughs> so aren't you lucky? Yeah. <laughs> now folks, thank you for abiding by the COVID regulations, I hope you understand. It's important for your fellow passenger safety and for the crew. Uh, strict like an aeroplane because you're inside and very constrained. You're allowed to go on the boat from two meters to one meter. That's why it has to be so uh, tight. We'll be rotating after we put on the safety announcement regarding these six emergency exits. But I want to distract you with a question. Or rather, how can I say this? An emergency happens. Does everybody know what to do? Because if there's an emergency, unfortunately, Jim and I are the first two people off the boat. <laughs> Worth the life jackets. We'll jump out, tie the boat up, secure it, and maybe have to deal with the emergency, but you have to get off. So here's my tip to survive. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember and get off the same side of the boat we've tied up against. <laughs> it's, uh, it's what I call the dry side. Thank you very much. <laughs> there we go guys, a bit of introduction there from the driver. Just a few moments, we're going to... Uh, Set sail. Pardon the pun. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. As safety is our priority, please give your full attention to this message. In the unlikely event of an incident, follow all instructions given from our crew members. There are six emergency exits on board. These exits are located at the two main doors in the center and two at the rear of the cabin either side. Our secondary exits are located at the front and the rear of the cabin. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the tour. Right, guys, we have got to move. Moves into a gondola, which holds boats side by side. There are two gondolas in Falkirk Wheel, which always weigh the same. 
Whether or not they carry their combined capacity of 600 tons, as the water contained within the gondolas is displaced to compensate. The Falker Queen is under the operation of the main control room at the basin, and safety procedures are closely monitored to ensure that the wheel cannot turn until all the steps required have taken place. To make the Falker Queen ready to turn, two hydraulic steel gates are raised to seal off the gondola from the water in the canal basin. The water between the gates is then pumped out, and a watertight seal which connects the gondola and the canal basin is removed. A hydraulic clamp and a series of securing pins, which prevent the arms of the wheel from moving while the gondola is docked, are now removed, allowing the Falkirk wheel to turn. In the central machine room, an array of ten hydraulic motors begins to rotate a central axle, which is carried on bearings at both ends. The axle connects to the outer arms of the Falkirk wheel, and this now begins to rotate slowly, at a speed of one-eighth of a revolution per minute. It takes around four minutes for the gondola to reach the top of the aqueduct, 25 meters above. The Falker wheel can turn in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, and the choice over which way it turns is made by an operator in the control room. To reduce wear on bearings and other moving parts, the operator will evenly distribute the number of times the wheel turns in each direction. As the wheel rotates, the two gondolas are always kept in the upright position by a simple system of gears. Two 8 meter wide outer rings orbit a fixed inner cog of the same width. Two smaller cogs connect the inner and outer rings together. These travel in the opposite direction to the outer rings and this ensures that the two gondolas remain level. Without this system, the inertia created by over 80,000 gallons of water would tip each gondola over. According to Archimedes' principle, floating objects displace their own weight in water. So when a boat enters the gondola, the weight of water displaced will equal the weight of the boat. This means that one gondola holding one or more boats will always weigh the same as an empty gondola, providing that the water levels are the same. Maintaining an equal water level in each gondola is critical to the operation of the wheel. A system of electronic sensors constantly monitors the water levels up and down the Falker wheel site. Balance and equilibrium are the two principles behind the Falker wheel's remarkable energy efficiency. It uses only one and a half kilowatt hours of energy to complete one and a half turn, the equivalent of boiling eight electric kettles. Unlike a conventional opaque, the Falker wheel makes very economical use of water. Because water has to travel both up and down with the gondola, the canal water is never wasted. When the gondola reaches the top of the aqueduct, a hydraulic clamp locks onto the gondola to hold it in place, while the space between the gates is filled with water. Once the water levels have equalized, the gates are then lowered to allow the boat to pass through. Yeah, guys, we're nearly at the top now. As I said before, it would have been a better view if it's out of the front, but uh, as you can see, the front seat's already taken. <laughs> Got a bit of music. When the designers were putting the plans for the Falkirk wheel together, they were confident it would work on paper. 
but they weren't exactly sure. This is the first rotating boat lift in the world after all. So to test their theory out, they built a small scale model out of Lego to see how it went. Fortunately, the principle worked and the design was commissioned. The canal system stretching across Scotland is home to over 30 varieties of aquatic plants, 15 species of mollusks, over 30 types of water flea, and even freshwater sponges, plus the ducks and swans. It's been known for fish to swim into the gondola at the bottom and travel up to the Union Canal with us. Of course, they displace their own weight too. <coughs> and there are footpaths here as well, leading up into the woods. You can walk along these later if you like. <laughs> right guys, we'll go back down now I think. I'll be honest guys, I'm a bit disappointed in that. We just sat we just sat at the top for about five minutes. I think we'll go back down now. You might have wondered why we went to the trouble of creating the Falkirk wheel. You'll remember that the two canals had fallen into a state of disrepair in the late 20th century and they weren't used for transporting goods or people anymore. It might have been easier just to fill the canals in and forget about them altogether. But then, in the late 1990s, it was realised that the redevelopment of these waterways could create what became known as a corridor of opportunity right across the central belt of Scotland. And there were plenty of enthusiastic volunteers too who wanted to see their local canal brought back to life rather than sitting there abandoned. The Millennium Link project saw these canals repaired and reopened and at £84 million was Britain's most ambitious canal restoration project ever. In just three years, waterways were dredged, including removing 300,000 tonnes of silt, locks were replaced, nine new locks built, and towpaths restored. There were also 35 new bridges and five kilometres of the new canal. And it's been a huge success. Canal side investment has gone through the roof, over £400 million pounds in the first decade alone, including 2,000 new waterside homes and 100,000 square metres of retail and commercial development. And very importantly for this region, 4,000 new jobs, all from a couple of canals. It's amazing to think what that kind of investment can do. possible to reopen the locks joining these two canals. They were filled in and now had blocks of flats built on them. So a new solution was needed, hence the Falkirk Wheel. Not only does it link the two waterways, but it gives us a chance to celebrate Scottish design and ingenuity once again. Okay, as we're coming towards the end of our time on this level, I just have time to share some of the facts and figures of the Falkirk Wheel. It was opened in May 2002 by Her Majesty the Queen, although she never actually wrote it like you have today. There are 15,000 boats in the structure, pressed into 45,000 boat holes. And each one was tightened by hand. The two gondolas between them 
hold a million liters of water and can lift the weight of 100 elephants. And it does all that in just five minutes using the power of a few electric kettles. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> if you were thinking of getting one for yourself, do be aware that the price tag comes at a whopping 20 million pounds. As we come to the end of this boat tour, it's impressive to think that the Falkirk Wheel wasn't actually built as a tourist attraction. There was no visitor centre here originally, and boat trips like these didn't take place. But people came to visit the wheel out of their own curiosity. They came from all over the world to wonder at this architectural and engineering gem. So we started running boat trips, and the Falkirk wheel has gone from strength to strength. And now you visited too, and ridden this unique part of the Scottish landscape. Perhaps we should leave the last word for the time being to the wheel's designer, Tony Ketta. The Falkirk wheel appears to lift its head and take stock of its Scottish surroundings. It stands up proud and bold, emerging from the land as the skeletal frame of a long lost prehistoric animal. It sits on a spine that connects the east and west coast of Scotland and says, Scotland is whole once more. The wheel reverberates with the strength and passion, the vision and the imagination that have underpinned the very best of Scottish culture since the 1700s. And more importantly, it stands as one monument, celebrating the past, but also what may be possible in the future. Right guys, here's some footage of the Falkirk wheel in action. Huge piece of machine. Huge bit of kit. I would like to come here um, later in the year and do the full 60 minute tour. I just think the uh, 35 minute tour was a bit disappointing.
Right guys, that was the Falkirk wheel. Um, I'm slightly disappointed that we just went a little bit back down again. Um, I was expecting a bit more than that really. But, but I'm definitely going to come back and later in the year and do the full 6 minute experience. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is this is one of two vlogs that I'm going to be, film, I'm going to be filming here in Falkirk. I'm now going to head to I'm now going to walk to Falkirk Stadium and I'm going to film a vlog from Taylor's of Edinburgh from Burr. We've got a great section of rides. We've got a Waltzer, a Twister, Miami, an Extreme, and a few other rides really. Um, I'm just walking along the canal, which will take me out to the hello we just take me out to the Falkirk Stadium but yeah hope you enjoyed this video if you have please hit, hit the like button subscribe down below if you haven't already, if you haven't already. leave a nice comment and I'll see you at Falkirk Stadium goodbye